he gets out of here, the body count could reach catastrophic levels. Ooh! It's now or never. Yeah! 
He gets out of here. The body count could reach catastrophic levels.
Super Saiyan. Unbelievable. Nothing's hurting him. You lose me. You go bye bye. Trunks, which one's the Majin? Beats me. I don't know any of these guys. <laughs> oh, and Majin Buu, feel free to finish the Supreme Kai off. Woo, hungry. Woo, eat this guy. Deborah, you're still alive! 
Lord Bobbity, this creature, Majin Buu, is not like the others. He will not serve you as your loyal servant. He must be eliminated immediately. Boo gotta eat you! You insolent little... Magnificent! Very good, Martin Boo! <laughs> oh. Piccolo, what's going on? Oh, the spell's broken. Huh. Uh, what, what are you two doing here? What about you guys? What are you doing here? Well, we were statues until just now. But it looks like that creep who spit on us died, and everyone's back to normal. <gasps> what is this unbelievable energy? No, it, it can't be. Is that Majin Buu? Majin Buu? Devour this fool as well. Okay, okay! Uh. Vegeta was empowered by Babidi's spell and more determined than ever remained locked in fierce combat with Goku. In the midst of the battle, the two Saiyans began to sense a massive energy that suddenly appeared in the distance. Realizing the energy must belong to Majin Buu, Goku pleaded with Vegeta to stop the fight so they could focus on defeating the new threat. Vegeta knew Goku would no longer be able to concentrate on their battle so he agreed, or so it seemed. It was just a lie to make Goku lower his guard. With Goku distracted, Vegeta knocked him unconscious. He then made his way to Majin Buu's location, ready to fight the menace he helped bring back into existence. Majin Buu's free because of me, so I'll be the one to get rid of him. I'll settle the score with you after that. That is, if I make it back alive. Right, time to go meet this Majin Buu face to face. Gohan's energy is already gone. Forgive me. This is my fault. That's it, huh? I might as well destroy it while I can. My, 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 my ship! Oh, blast it! What in the world is going on? Hey there! Uh, Vegeta! What have you done? I don't recall telling you to destroy my ship! So that fat bastard with the ugly mug is Majin Buu, huh? You... You killed Gohan, didn't you? <gasps> Gohan! Ugly mug? What's that? It means he thinks you have a strange face. I'm not going to hell on my own. I'm taking you all with me!
just now! Majin Buu needs to be taken care of, but you're the real cause behind all this, Bobbity. This... this can't be! Hey, Vegeta? Dad, hang in there! Trunks. <laughs> Trunks, my son, take good care of your mom for me. What are you talking about, Dad? What do you mean, take good care of Mom? You need to get as far away from here as you can. I'm going to fight Majin Buu on my own. N no way! We're gonna fight, too! The three of us can take him down for sure! Trunks... I haven't given you a single hug since the day you were born, have I? Huh? doing dad cut it out you're embarrassing me Take these two as far away from here as you can. I'm counting on you, Piccolo. You're prepared to die, aren't you? Just tell me one thing. If I die, will I be able to see Kakarot in the other world? I'm afraid not. You've killed too many innocent people. When you die, you'll lose your body, and your soul will be carried off to a different world. I see. That's too bad. Now, get out of here. Hurry! No! Boo, no, what you do? Wait, Majin Boo! You're going to have to defeat me first! You got that? Fight me, you brain dead balloon! Uh, you say mean things, even though you're weak! I finally know how to get rid of you. Once and for all. Hey! What in the world is Vegeta doing? He's gonna get himself killed! For the first time ever. He's finally fighting to protect someone other than himself. Throwing his life away to do it. To make sure you can't put yourself back together, I'm going to blow you into microscopic pieces!
Here, take these two. I'm going to see what happened. Uh, okay. I see. So if Majin Buu only takes a small amount of damage, his cells can regenerate. To prevent that, Vegeta sacrificed himself to blow Majin Buu into a trillion pieces. We were saved by him, of all people. <laughs> Babini, you're still alive. Guess I'll have to fix that. Majin Buu's fragments, they're... Majin Buu is still alive! You want me to seal you up again? Yeah! Ooh, good. Well done, Martin Boo. That green fool and those two runs have messed with me for the last time. They will learn to fear the great Bobbity and Martin Boo. Reduce this planet to a desolate hellscape, Margin Boo! Kill as many of the Earthlings as it takes to flush those Cretans out of hiding! He's not dead? Margin Boo's not dead? Uh, no way! Vegeta sacrificed himself for nothing? It's not safe here on the surface. Get the kids and everyone else to Kami's lookout, right now! These two are the planet's last chance, as slim as it may be. I can sense Majin Buu's energy, but I can't sense Vegeta's anywhere. Uh, don't tell me. Vegeta couldn't have gotten himself killed. Oh no. I don't sense Gohan's energy either. What's going on? Hmm? Piccolo and Krillin are both alive. They aren't stone anymore. Okay. They should know what's going on. I'd bet on that. Where would they be? At Kami's lookout, maybe?
Majin Buu. I wonder what kind of monster he is. Hey, Goku! Is that really you, Goku? You're alive! Yeah, I was hoping you could tell me what's going on. Unbelievable. Gohan and the Supreme Kai? This is too much. Even Vegeta was taken down. Majin Buu's power. It's far greater than the Supreme Kai initially feared it would be. If we don't act fast, all life in the universe, let alone here on Earth, will be completely wiped out of existence. Well, not all hope is lost. We've still got you, Goku. If anyone can beat Majin Buu, then it's you. I'll be honest. That's not gonna happen. I can't beat him. Uh? Me and Vegeta were pretty much matched as far as power goes. And Majin Buu? He had no problem taking everything Vegeta threw his way. There's no way around it. I don't stand a chance. Uh, really? Wow. Man, this stinks! If either Gohan or Vegeta were still alive, we might have had a real chance to do something. I don't think so. No, we're gonna need more than just numbers against this guy. He really is that strong. Nah, that's not what I meant. I'm talking about fusion. Huh? Fusion? What's that? Fusion? Where two people merge, right? That's a special technique used by the Metamorans. You know about that? And you're right. I learned the technique from a Metamoran I met in Otherworld. If two people are about the same size and roughly equal in strength, they can combine with each other. Do you understand what this means? Two people can form one person with way more power than either of the original two are capable of by themselves. There is one thing you really need to keep in mind. Apparently, you can only stay combined for 30 minutes. <sighs> now it makes sense. I think I understand. You were hoping to fuse with either Gohan or Vegeta if one of them was alive. You'd form the ultimate warrior and be able to fight Majin Buu. But fortunately, Gohan and Vegeta, they're both gone. Uh, so, this is the worst case scenario, isn't it? Goten and Trunks are sleeping inside, and they are about the same size and strength. Perhaps they could fuse. Hey, that's a great idea, Mr. Popo. Yeah, we could do that. That'll work. Piccolo, I'm going to do whatever I possibly can to teach the fusion technique to the kids. But it's going to take some time. At some point in all of this, I'll need you to take over for me. Fine. I got it. This is good. There's hope for us yet! Those kids might be able to pull this off! Right. But understand, it's going to take quite a while before Goten and Trunks are able to perform the technique. The time this will take is something others don't have. A lot of people could die before that happens. Everyone on the planet, even the planet itself, might be wiped out before then. This is a long shot. But we've got no other choice. You're right about that. Even if all of humanity gets wiped out, we've still got the Dragon Balls to bring everyone back. What's going on? It got dark all of a sudden. Wait, is that... Did someone summon Shenron? Wait, but who? Bulma had all of the Dragon Balls last, right? But she doesn't know the situation. What's she doing? Of course! Yeah, that's right. Vegeta killed a bunch of people at the World Tournament. Bulma's gonna ask Shenron to bring them all back. Oh, no! If she makes all three wishes now, we'll have to wait another year. I'll go try to stop her. Just as Goku had predicted, 
Bulma and the others had summoned Shenron to bring back all those killed by Vegeta. The first wish had already been granted, but Goku was able to prevent the last two wishes from being used. Shenron disappeared and the Dragon Balls scattered, inert for the next four months. Goku then warped the confused group to Kami's lookout, where they would then all be safe from Majin Buu's onslaught. Here we have an individual brought back to life with the Dragon Balls. I... I'm certain I was killed by Dabara. W was I brought back to life? How can that be? W what's going on? W where is the Supreme Kai? Oh, good. He's still alive. Supreme Kai! Supreme Kai! Thank goodness, I wasn't too late! Uh, uh, Kibito, wh what are you doing here? Uh, I saw you die! You were blown to pieces! Indeed. I too am uncertain how I was able to come back. That's right! Kibito, we have to hurry! Gohan's in danger! Huh? We have to prevent Gohan from dying at all costs! <laughs> it looks like we've come to his aid without a moment to spare! Thank goodness! Kibito, we should restore Gohan's strength once we're back in the land of the Kais! Huh? D do you mean to tell me we are going to allow a mortal to step foot in our holy land? Yes, now we need to hurry. He doesn't have much longer. R right Kai Kai. Hmm? What? What the? Huh? Where am I? This is the land of the Kais, our homeworld. Wait, what? Your homeworld? Yes, this is a holy land that even the gods and Kais, let alone mortals, were not to enter. Wait! I thought you died. Do you have the ability to revive yourself? Unfortunately, no. My revival is just as much a mystery to me as it is to you. Uh, uh, why am I here? We hope you'll be able to use the Z-Sword to defeat Majin Buu. You should have what it takes to utilize that sword and its power. Huh? The... the sword Are you sure about this, Supreme Kai? The Z-Sword is not a weapon that a mere mortal could ever wield. Not possible. Neither I nor countless other Supreme Kais could ever make use of the legendary sword. As you were dead, Kibito, you haven't seen how truly remarkable Gohan's power is. At any rate, we should at least try. Come with me. <clears throat> You'll need some more suitable clothes. Oh. Huh. Kabito and I are wearing matching outfits. It's kind of embarrassing.
That's the Z sword? This is the Z sword. Huh. Now please try to remove it. To the best of my knowledge, no one has been able to remove this blade. So, I just need to pull it out, huh? Sounds like something out of a storybook. So, uh, I'm supposed to pull out this Z sword, but then what happens? Legends say you will be imbued with immense power. Perhaps even enough power to destroy Majin Buu. What? <laughs> really? I guess that means this thing's pretty sharp. I'm kind of scared now. You can't remove the sword, so you have nothing to fear. Kibito, please be quiet. Gohan must concentrate. Please, Gohan, try to remove the sword. Huh. All right, here goes. <gasps> no use. It won't budge. Hmm. All right. Let's try this then. Super Saiyan? Well, I doubt that'll change anything. <laughs> it's no use. Several Supreme Kais before you have tried, and also failed to remove the blade. Why would a mere mortal succeed? Ah! Mm! Look, he did it! I... I can't believe it! I'm just gonna cut straight to the chase, okay? Goten and Trunks are both fine. But Gohan and Vegeta, they were killed by Majin Buu. Huh? <laughs> Gigi! Vegeta! No! He can't! Listen to me, people of Earth! I am using magic to speak to all of you telepathically. Now close your eyes. I have something I'd like to show you. My name is Bobbity, and I am a terrified and powerful wizard. And this here is my loyal servant, the even more frightening Margin Boo. What is this? Are, are, are you seeing this too? Hey, what kind of freaky crap is this? I've run into a bit of trouble today, you see. And now I'm looking for three troublemakers. This one. This one. And this one. If I cannot find these three fools, 
<laughs> well, allow me to show you what will happen. All right, Martin Boo. Do it. Hey! Monster! What has he done? I will warn you one more time. You must tell me where those three are. If you do not, we will exterminate every last one of you five days from now. I eagerly await your report. Damn that bug-eyed bastard. So those are the guys that killed Vegeta and Gohan. We can't let there be any more casualties. I'm going to confront them. No! Think about it. If you die on us, there won't be anyone to teach Goten and Trunks how to fuse. We have the Dragon Balls. We can use them to repair any damage done and bring back anybody that's been killed. You get it? <sighs> Fine. Time for tears. If you want to avenge them, focus on learning this new technique. You got it? Let's get started. Everybody pay close attention. All right. Time to learn how to fuse. People of Earth. I've just received some very interesting information. One of the three troublemakers I'm searching for, Trunks, supposedly lives at a place called Capsule Corporation in West City. I think we might head there next. For everyone's sake, he had better be there. I would show myself if I were you, Trunks. Your home won't be around much longer if you don't. Oh no! My grandpa and grandma are still at the house! Goku! Did you hear that just now? My mom and dad are done for! And so is West City for that matter! It'll be fine, Bulma. We'll bring them back with the Dragon Balls. Oh, you don't get it! If my lab gets destroyed, so does the Dragon Radar! The radar requires special parts that you can't just get anywhere! Which means we won't be able to summon Shenron! What? That is a problem. All right, Trunks, hurry back home and try to find the Dragon Radar. Okay, I'll try to stall Bobbity and Majin Buu as long as I can. Are you sure? Aren't you just gonna get your butt kicked? Hmm, I can distract them for at least a little bit. Anyway, hurry before they get to West City!
find those guys, and fast! I hope I can buy Trunks enough time. Found them! Yo! <laughs> it's you! Yeah, and I'm here to deliver a message. Listen up! The three people you're looking for are gonna show up sooner than you think. I can promise you that. Just wait a little longer. Don't destroy anything else or harm any more innocent people. Now why should we wait? Oh, you're up to something, aren't you? You bet we are. We're training to beat you guys. <laughs> beat us, you say? No amount of training could ever make that possible. We're not going to just sit here and wait. You will bring them to us, now! You know, I kind of had a feeling you were going to say something like that. Which means I don't really have a choice. Guess I'm going to have to make you wait then. <laughs> Fascinating. Very well then, show us what you can do. Hey, Martin Boo! What are you doing? Hurry up and obliterate this fool! Come on! What's with that? Why is a strong guy like you taking orders from Bobbity? Hmm? Shut your mouth! I don't recall asking for your opinion! Martin Boo is my loyal servant. He obeys my every command. Hmm. What is your problem? Do you want me to seal you up again? If you seal Boo, you did! That guy kill you! <sighs> Curse this creature! When did he start to think for himself? But don't worry! Boo kill him! Boo don't like goody goodies like him! Huh. <laughs> Looks like it's do or die. That won't work! Vegeta tried the same thing, and look what happened to him! Good point. Then I guess I'd better kick it up a notch and go one step further. What do you think? What? This is a Super Saiyan. And this is a Super Saiyan level beyond that of Super Saiyan. Let's just call this... Super Saiyan 2. What a pathetic transformation! Nothing's different from the previous form! And this... This... Is... Going... Even further! This... Super Saiyan 3! Sorry it took me so long. I'm still not used to this form just yet. You have scary face now! But Voodoo's scared! Uh, yes, yes, precisely, you fool. Now march and Boo destroy this ruffian!
Single dent in this guy. Hmm. Trunks' energy is on the move. That means he must have found the Dragon Radar and is leaving West City. don't have the time. I'm gonna be heading back now. Oh, we're not going to just let you get away. Crush him, Majin Buu! Don't forget what I said. The three you're looking for will show up soon, Bobbity, in two days. Do yourself a favor. Stay out of trouble and just wait a little longer. Stay strong? Those guys? <laughs> do you really think I'm going to do as you say? <sighs> This kind of stinks. I mean, I was really just beginning to enjoy my fight with Majin Buu. <laughs> he disappeared! Hey, he got away! This is your fault! You wasted too much time! Now go find him, you fool! Lord Bobby! Who had a good idea? Uh, what? A good idea? Here we go. Now that Bobbity's gone, nothing's preventing Majin Buu from going on a rampage. What's wrong, Goku? What's wrong is that I'm officially beat. Who knew transforming into Super Saiyan 3 would do such a number on my body? Won't be long now. I don't have much time left here. So until then, we have to make sure the kids perfect that fusion technique. Those two are the last chance this planet has. I... I got it! This is the Dragon Radar, right? All right. Look, we really don't have much time left. So do yourselves a favor and get ready, you two. Yes, sir! You're gonna need to be able to match one another's energy. But you can practice that later. First, we'll start with the hard part, so pay attention. For the fusion pose, you both have to mirror each other exactly. I'm gonna show you the pose now. So don't take your eyes off me, okay? First, you stand a little bit away from each other. Then, do this. Now, watch the angle of your arms. Phew! With your arms in opposite directions, you take three steps to get closer to each other. Jun? Then,
then you make fists with your hands. Watch the angle of your legs. Ha! Then you bring your fingers together like this. And don't forget to extend your legs out really far like this too. We have to do that? It's so lame. Yeah. To make things a little easier to follow, me and Piccolo are gonna model it for you, okay? What? Wait, we are? Just like this. You both have to move like you're each other's reflection in a mirror. Few. Jun. Ah! All right, your turn. One, two, one, two. Goku, it's about time we take you back to the other world. Yeah, I know. Piccolo, it's up to you. Right. Goku, see you around. Well, uh, not really, but you know what I mean. Goodbye, Goku. Come on, Chi Chi. Don't look so sad. You still got Goten, right? But, but what if he's killed by Majin Buu, too? Don't worry. Once he masters this technique, Majin Buu won't stand a chance against him. If I see Gohan on the other side, I'll be sure to tell him you said hi. Okay. I, I get the feeling that Gohan is still alive. I hope you're right. I really do. Yeah. Goku, we really must be going now. Right. <laughs> what is it, Goten? <laughs> Oh, I know. You want to give your dad a hug, don't you? Oh, is that what you want? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Goten, take good care of your mom. Uh, okay. <sighs> All right, everyone, I'm off. Look me up when you die! Man, I don't know how Goku can have such a carefree attitude, even about death. I trust that you can handle things on your own from here, yes? Right. Thanks, Granny. I wonder if Gohan's already made his way to Otherworld. Hmm? Huh. I don't believe it. Gohan! Yeah, that's his energy, all right. But how? Hmm. Where is he? Wait. It's not King Kai's place. No. There!
What the hell is this place? He's here. Gohan's here! I can sense his energy! Where could he be? 